George, did you see this? Did you look at the stats here? We're averaging. No, just the fine, fine. You want me to do a uh, symphony uh, the, the secret administration page that nobody would ever be able to guess, even though twenty eight percent of the internet's run by. We're... Look at that. It's the same. It's the same thing going on. We're bouncing around between. I mean, two hundreds of two oh seven. June seventh. That was our lowest day, over at the over at the the, the symphony. It's getting seven hundred, eight hundred views a day. I'd say average about it bouncing or just below four hundred. But then, uh, did you see this? Over eight hundred views. When was that? The seventeenth. Jesse Steele. What is going? I'm going to be able to start advertising. That's right. You know, that, that, that brings me to an interesting point. The, the concept of advertising. I mean, have, what, it, 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 it's, like, it, it's like, I don't have, I mean, th- think, about adver- think about everyone involved in advertising and think about what it really says about everyone involved. Think about it. The, the person, uh, the, like the, the, the person with the, well, anymore. I don't mean in the olden days when there was a newspaper press and, you know, I mean, anything mass, I mean, mass distribute goes to the press, you know. So I I don't, that aside, but TV shows, um, websites, see, originally advertising on TV was important because TV was the only televised way. There were like one, two, three networks. And if you wanted to get your message out, you had to pay the network. Well, as I wrote in Know Each Other uh, back in 2015, we're, with the internet, the, the, there are no more monopolies on the networks. Now it's all about information hubs. Now the people that, that own the toll roads uh there yeah see it, it made sense to pay the newspaper because you got to pay for the printing and he's going to go he, he what do i do well i ship stuff to people well who else does no one okay so i'll pay you to ship this to people all right that'll be 65 cents you know whatever and then out it goes but when you know we're looking at today no 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 they don't CNN doesn't have a monopoly anymore. Neither does Fox News. Not neither do the the TV networks, the newspapers, Wall Street Journal doesn't. You can, you can go to Blogger and write something and it's just as beautiful as an article in the Wall Street Journal. Now, you may not have access to the information, you may not be as good of a writer, but the actual stuff it's on is available to everyone. So advertising today doesn't go to the people who uh, have those networks advertising. I mean, well, any, well, that's another question too. See, it's, it's having an audience. It's writing stuff. That's good. It's producing content videos, whatever that's good. So people want to watch you and they'll, they'll watch you because, and so it's, it's like everyone's in a competition to get good ratings. It's all about the ratings. It's no longer about the medium. So think about what that says though, anymore. I've got awesome ideas that everyone's going to want to listen to. Uh, So I have an awesome channel. I have an awesome blog. I have an awesome audience. But I've got absolutely no clue at all what type of thing should be sold. So I'm just going to like uh, whore myself out and um, make my website really slow and make people take a long time to watch my videos because I'm going to put this annoying thing in the front with, the, you know, click to skip ad that because nobody wants it anyway. And think about the guy advertising the product. Think about he like him. I've got this awesome product. I'm awesome. This great service. It's wonderful. Of course, I can't get a YouTube channel. I can't write any articles anyone wants to read. So it's like, wait a minute. If, if you're writing the articles and doing the videos good enough for people to read or, and or if you're like making a product that's or you're, you're, you're developing a service that's good enough for people to want. Uh, 
shouldn't they be like the same? I, I no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really not. If you read know each other, the Pacific Daily Times and Information Age, the book from 2015. It's, of course, it's a free book. It's free. It's a free ebook. A free book. I coined the term in the book. In the free book. Shouldn't they be the same person? I mean, seriously, Steve Jobs could have become famous just by blogging. Talk about the ideas, right? And people go see his awesome ideas. And, and, and there he goes. He doesn't have to run ads. Right? Am I right? Okay. Think about that. So just advertising, both sides of it. You know, the guy running the news thing. The guy, it just, it doesn't work. I, they need to be the same company. You know, originally CBS, NBC, ABC, the three stooges, they use, as my father always used to call them, they, they would have like the news half hour, like it was 30 minutes of news and the rest of the, the day, it's like they would lose money in the news segment because they knew that they had to deliver the news or they didn't exist. And so news was part of their programming uh, strategy. Anyhow, just a little interesting thought. So I'm, no, seriously, on the 17th, I peaked. Uh, I, I got over 800 post views on my Jesse Steele blog. And on the 19th, Symphony got uh, almost 800, 780. So that's, that's interesting. That's really interesting. I I just no for years I've been writing this stuff and not putting it out and I'm sharing it and all of a sudden you know what's what's happening. I just you know I've always had a focus on trying to just do a good job. I I didn't want to be famous. I wanted to do a good job and I knew that people would follow me and if people followed me cuz I was worth it. Uh, m- maybe maybe I could do a crowdfunding campaign that would be useful and help create a product that, that we need. Like that's always been my concept. I'm trying something new today. I wanted to let you know about this. I'm not recording on my notebook computer as before. Now, there's a very special edition podcast that's coming out the same day. I already recorded it. Don't know if I'm going to put it before or after, frankly. But that I recorded with my old noisy computer. Well, I've got a new little put together old computer and it's quiet. It doesn't make any noise. It's running now. I'm not recording this on my normal notebook computer. That's quiet. I'm recording this on a desktop in the room here with me. Can you hear it? And I know it. I love this thing. So I'm set up. I've got my little jelly keyboard. I can type on my little jelly keyboard. In fact, I'm pushing buttons on it now and you can't even hear it. I got my little jelly keyboard and uh, I'm having fun with this. And, and, and speak of it all, Verk, last week, I started Verk. Remember? I, I talked. I've got, I'm, I'm just ranting now about my personal life. I've got this SSD drive, this little tiny 128 gigabyte SSD drive. Ripped, and it's got, uh, let's see, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's got 11 different versions of Ubuntu installed on it. And I'm running through, yeah, uh, Mint. Uh, Ubuntu Studio, XFCE, Budgie, Gnome, and then KDE, and then Mint comes with several different versions of those. I've got, and I'm testing Verk to see if it will Verk. See what I did there? Uh, I should probably get to the point. There are two great self-realization epiphany moments in life. I am different from my ideas, and it's my fault Knowing that you are not one and the same with your ideas liberates you. You can change your ideas like a pair of shoes. Someone criticizing your ideas won't insult you personally because they are merely criticizing your ideas, not you. Knowing something is your own fault frees you to do something about it. You can't change anything or fix any problem unless it's your own fault. Maybe it's your own fault for not having improved. So try on this idea. It's your fault. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.